in finance, people refer to changes in in the the inter in U.S. interest rates or U.S. Treasury yields uh, as as bear steepenings or bull steepenings. And so, when interest rates, uh, when the yield curve steepens, and it's coinciding with interest rates falling, that is called a bull steepening. So bonds are appreciating, which is why they call it a bull, uh, because bonds are going up in price, but yields going down. However, the short end of the curve is going down faster than the long end of the curve, right? So rates are coming down, which is what's happening today. Rates are coming down. We all know that it's happening. However, what is most likely going to happen, what needs to happen is the front end of the curve needs to go down faster than the long end. So that means the two-year treasury needs to come down to be below the 10 year. So that way we have an uninverted yield curve. It's the, the yield curve being inverted the way it is today is very unnatural, very unsustainable, and it's not how normal capital markets function. And if you, the next part of this topic is swap spreads. This is a bit more of a complex topic, but and I don't understand swaps very well, but obviously a swap in, in essence is a very simple contract where if I have, let's say a floating rate loan, I'm a borrower of a floating rate loan. I could come to you and say, you know what? I'm paying this floating rate to my lender over here. Why don't I swap it and I'll pay you a fixed rate and you continue to pay my floating rate. So now I've hedged myself out of the float and I'm now paying fixed to a third party, which would be you, my hedge provider, right? So I'm entering into a swap contract. So the swaps are useful as a hedge if you're actually like someone borrowing real estate, borrowing debt on real estate, right? But also people use swaps as just an investment tool and they can play the swap contracts to their advantage. I mean, because let's say the bank on the opposite side of the swap, they're in it not to be a nice guy and say, you know what? Don't worry about your floating rate. I'll pay you a fixed rate, right? They're doing it to make money.